love and light everybody welcome back to another video if you guys are new my name is kayla this is my channel intuitively me and guys we are well on our way to 600 subscribers thank you guys so much i woke up this morning i went to sleep last night and i was like i think we were like 15 away from um 500 and i was like god it would be wonderful if you find 15 people who are intuitive family members that are feeling called to join and I woke up this morning guys and we were way past um, we were several past 500 and I just wanted to you know just show share this testimony because this is the grace of God you know um, God is calling these intuitive beings you guys to my platform because we're making a soul connection you know maybe some of you guys are like me and you haven't found those right people that you can be like nah they resonate with me you know these people actually resonate with me they understand me they vibe on my level same energy frequency and that's how i've been feeling and ever since making this channel guys it's just like i'm getting this like res like I don't even know how to put it in words it's like this equal give and take almost you know and i can feel your energy and i know you guys can feel my energy and i just hope that you know our family continues to grow continues to thrive and we just you know create a stronger soul tie a stronger bond together all right um in this reading i'm going to pull a spirit baby message because we all love to call in our spirit babies um yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like the video so that we can circulate the video and get more family members to join our soul tribe, our intuitive family. And yeah, let's dive in. Spirit, God, angels, ancestors, divine, Holy Spirit, please go ahead and bless the collective. Bless the new subscribers. Bless the old subscribers. Bless the subscribers that are still on their way coming. Go ahead and send them whatever they are sending myself. If they are sending love and light, please bless that back to them and their family tenfold, God. And if they, anyone is sending the evil eye, bad intentions, just return to sender. In this day and age, I just like to teach that what you give out is what you're going to get back, okay? So we're going to call on the spirit babies. We're going to see what they want to say. But before we do, I'm going to get some angel messages and see what they want to say about our love life. So go ahead and just think about the person that comes to mind when you hear spirit babies. If you're a male, masculine energy, who's the woman that who's the woman that you would want to carry your seed? And if you are a feminine, what who's the um, masculine energy of seed that you would like to carry? Okay. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do. Okay. So it says, ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. Okay? So I feel like 14, which is also a 5, which signifies change, guys. Do you see how this mermaid is asking this merman, this king mermaid, like, I need help. You know, she's asking. And I'm not only seeing it asking as, like, for things, but asking for advice. So maybe you guys are in this spot where it's like, Maybe you haven't met somebody. Maybe you are going through conflict. Maybe you don't know if you can get pregnant. Whatever your scenario is, it's okay to call on God and to ask God for the answers. It's okay to call on other people around you that you feel um, hold wisdom to um, ask, you know, what, what, what should I do in that situation? And then be willing to accept support. Okay, be willing to express your love, express your love to receive love. So maybe some of you guys are holding your love back, right? Maybe you're, un you're, you're needing to ask for help. How do I go about expressing this love? How do I go about opening up and, you know, sharing my feelings that I feel? You know, the little spirit babies are there. So they're communicating with you. They're telling you, you know, it's time. It's time to express that love so that we can be, you know, um, born. So that we can come into this physical life. You have the answers. Look at how abundant they are, right? They have feathers. They have shells. They have all this, all these things, bracelets and, you know, all these beautiful things. But they're still not willing to express. And I'm feeling like you also need to be able to share and give, you know. That's what I'm getting. Like that little mermaid or being, that little lady has so much. She's got like, she's drenched in all this, all this 
things, materialistic things, but they're still lacking that one is like being willing to express the love you have. So maybe you guys are at this place where your life is stable, right? You have, you know, the means and you have, you know, everything that you would need, but you're still lacking that one, you know, that emotion, that love. And it's saying that you need to be willing to express how you feel if you want to bring that in, right? Nobody's ever going to physically know exactly what you want or need if you don't open up and express it. And then they're saying, be willing to ask for help. So maybe you need to ask for help. Who? Maybe you love somebody and you don't know how to go about, you know, asking them or expressing to them how you feel. So it's like maybe instead of going to express, maybe go to them and ask for help. Like, hey, you know, I noticed that I'm still a little blocked off. I need help, you know, like how, how, how are you able to do this? If they have the wisdom to do that, how are you able to open up so freely and express, you know, how are you doing what you're doing? Maybe you need to go and ask for help. Maybe that's what it is, you know? And then through that asking for help, then you can learn how to express your love is what I'm hearing, which is very beautiful. see what else we'll get two more perfect overall energy at the bottom of the deck is be in the present and dream of the future guys i just got back from a long beach walk i was walking on the beach and you know one way for me to really ground down and be present is to like pick up like i was sitting so still after i walked the beach for a while i was sitting so still and um I was noticing the crabs, you know, the stiller I became, the more calm I became, the environments, the, you know, the animals around me started feeling more comfortable because I was becoming one with that element, if that makes sense. And I do this a lot when I become really present in that moment where my mind's not thinking of anything and I'm just like in that moment, then you'll notice like the the butterflies, like I saw so many butterflies, but they, they start coming to you, right? The crabs were running right by my feet. You know, I saw fish in the ocean jumping, you know? It's like these elements, then you become one with them, right? You can feel the breeze a little bit more. You can feel the water from the ocean, um, the ocean waves like touching your skin, you know? And that is what it means to be present in that moment. But while I was also in that moment, I was, chills I was like staying in gratitude and in my back of my mind I just said kept saying thank you God for all that you you know provide me with all that I have all that I'm going to have you know when the butterflies flew by I knew that change and transformation is being um, presented in my life you know I knew that there was going that there is going to be this transformation and I am going through it right now currently but with being so still and so present and seeing the crabs and all the elements and me becoming one with that element, with all the elements around me, I was able to also envision what I wanted my future to be like, what who I wanted in my future, what I wanted to feel in my future, you know? And majority of the time, I just want unconditional love, right? So that's very beautiful. Take my personal testimony as maybe, because sometimes people say, okay, be present in the moment. How do you go about that? How do you go about being so present and grounded in the moment? Okay, sitting still, but your mind could still be racing. Maybe get out. This is why I always say get outside, right? And sit down, just sit down. I took my shoes off. I walked the beach barefoot. And then after I started getting hot, I just sat down. And my mind was still thinking of things and things I needed to do for a while until I really quieted my mind and then I started noticing things, right? Being present, noticing. And then I started thinking about how the crabs are. Are crabs worrying about tomorrow? Are crabs worrying about the next hour? No, they're just in that moment, right? They're in that moment, just fully aware of everything. When people would walk by, the crabs would run back into their holes. And to me, it was just putting me in that element, right? Like, okay, now this is what it is. I, I'm here right now. I, who knows what can happen from an hour from now? Who knows what tomorrow holds? All I know is that I'm promised right now, right? And in this moment, what energy do I want to carry? I was carrying the energy of gratitude.
when you get in that energy guys and when you're just so present you can actually really just be so thankful for all that you have all that you've experienced all the love and trials and tribulation that you went on in your life you know when you're actually present and grounded you can really stop and just really appreciate you know just really understand that this is this is what it is right now right here and how do you feel what energy do you want to vibrate off of and for me it's just unconditional love and gratitude because everything that i've been through led me up onto this moment and in this moment i'm sitting down peacefully right presently so take that guys act as if your partner is already here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are here with you so you can always consider them that is something that I, I also was doing as well. When I was walking on the beach, you know, it's a lot of elderly people walking together and it's majority of them, 98% of them, they had that significant other, you know, and they were walking, you know, a man and woman or a woman, whatever it is, but they had that significant other, right? And then also I saw birds and the birds came in two and it was just like butterflies flying in two. And, you know, I was noticing all of that and I was just like, I might not have it right now, right? I might not have that significant other with me right now. I'm totally peaceful and blissful and filled with gratitude, but I know for the future, right? That's something that I am manifesting into my life. Somebody that I can do beach walks with in the morning. Somebody that is gonna sit down with me and just be in that present moment and notice the things that are going on, right? And I was envisioning that, like these are things that I want. I don't wanna be alone when I'm older, you know, I don't want to be, you know, just by myself. And so I imagined, you know, what it would be like me that age walking with somebody, you know, that I can grow old with, you know what I mean? And then listen to your heart. You are listening, but you need to hear with a loving heart. Okay, so maybe some of you guys um, are hearing you know how people are feeling maybe some of you guys are hearing the messages that you're getting around you know where whatever you're listening to or getting your information from but um your guides in spirit are telling you which is one so this is a new beginning so you guys need to start this new cycle where um you do take in the information that you're hearing but you have to take it in with you know your heart as well you have to learn to open up your heart and just and the easiest way for me to do that is just like um, put myself in that person's shoes. I know it's harder to do for some, but for me, I, as being an empath, you know, it's so easy to um, put myself in other people's shoes and be like, okay, I might not know fully exactly what they're going through because it's not my walk of life, but the roles could so easily be reversed and I could be in that position. And if I was in that position, how would I feel? How would I want people to treat me? How would I want you know, people to help me, listen to me? And then in return, I try to give myself to that, you know, if that makes sense, you know? So, um, Whatever information you are getting, I mean, if you're watching videos on YouTube or tarot or you're hearing advice from a family member or a loved one, don't just hear what they have to say, but open your heart up to that advice, to that um, knowledge that they're trying to give you. And understand that if somebody is actually taking the time out to pour into you, to pour wisdom into you, you have to be you know, filled with gratitude for that because they're trying to make an impact, to, even if it touches you in one area and nothing else resonates, right? But you have to just have that like openness, like, wow, okay, it might not resonate with me, but I understand what you're doing, chills. I understand the work that you're trying to do. I see the effort that you're trying to make. I feel your energy that you're trying to pour into not just myself, but everyone else. And I'm I'm filled with gratitude for that, right? Not like when I come onto YouTube and I, I don't really watch um, YouTube videos as much as I used to anymore, but um, it comes to a point where it's like, some of the videos might not resonate with me, but not everything is for me, right? Somebody else, it might be exactly for them, but I show, like I like the videos, every video I click on, I like because it's just like, 
I see the work that you're doing. I see that you come on and you, you know, share your messages that you get and it might not resonate with me, but I do see the effort that you're doing. You know, I do see that you're trying to, you know, keep the wheel turning in a forward direction. So with that, that's a positive, you know? So maybe that's kind of where, where some of you guys um, need to, you know, just shift your perspective for, right? All right, let's see what these spirit babies want to say. My goodness, so loud. All right, spirit babies, what messages do you want to come in and say? Sing to me in the womb. We love that. Do you see we, guys? So we have first card saying that there's multiples, okay? You will have sweet cravings. So these babies want you to sing to them in the womb. Doctors may have told you no, but we are making a way to you. Keep praying, okay? Guys, that reminds me. I've been I've been also getting like um, how I've been telling you, like if you followed the last video, how Rihanna was pregnant, right? And she's been, you know, doing her career and all of these things. And then she found a love, you know, and she's finally experienced a baby i don't experiencing having a baby and then i don't know if you guys also follow but a long time ago i used to watch um trisha paytas on um youtube and you know her she's 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 a chosen one she is in her own way you know i love the girl because she does have a pure heart she really does mean well um and she was told no from you know so many doctors that she would never be able to have a child and guess what i just she just popped up on my feed this is a new channel everything but she popped up on my feed saying i'm pregnant you know and so i think those little videos of people that i used to like you know watch and see in the past are finally getting their promise in year 2022 it's just like Doctors may have told you no, but keep praying. She said that she's always envisioned herself to have a baby. You know, a lot of people told her no, and that's what people want. They want to kill your dreams. They want to, you know, ruin your blessings. They want to put doubt in your mind. Doubt is the form of the devil, you know? And if it's something that you truly, truly want, and it's something that you believe that God has told you, then you have to keep that faith, right? You have to keep that faith. Winter baby. Okay, so maybe you guys are going to conceive in the winter. Winter's almost done. Maybe some of you guys will um, be giving birth in the winter. So if you give birth in the winter, I think you would get pregnant in the spring. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see what else. So congratulations. Um, I know she's not watching my channel, but just sending congratulations and love and light to um, Trisha and her, her journey. She got married. You know, she they you know these promises are being withheld and it's for people that look like they, that it would have never happened like rihanna right she was going her whole life she started music as she was a child you know she gave herself to so many people and um all of a sudden she got her promise right and now trisha paytas she's the same she you know focused on herself and was you know in and out of so many different things and you know it just felt like it would never come to pass for her and she still believed and she still had faith and look now you know it's coming to pass so maybe some of you guys out here are just like man i've been waiting on this promise for so long i've been i've been trying to do you know everything that god is telling me or that i'm envisioning for myself and it just still hasn't happened yet but you know with these stories coming out and me being able to share them it just i don't know it puts a little bit of like hope at least for me it's like no like these women have waited years as well and god blesses them so if you guys are in that don't don't go down that doubt road you know stay on that vision whatever that vision is for you um we do have free choice so if you just you know if you're not into that and you're like okay you know that's fine with you but if it's something that you feel you've been called for just hold on to that right you have to keep the vibrations high okay we pray for you to know how loved you are another we so we got a second confirmation that these may be multiples but they're saying your babies are saying that 
they've been praying for you, okay? They want you to know how loved you are, whether you're alone, whether you have children, whether you don't have children, whether you want more children, whatever it is, these spirit babies have been praying for you. And if I do have older people as well, because I was getting this as I was reading the comments, you know, some people were like, I have kids already and I'm not having any more. You know, these could be spirit babies that are coming for like your grandchildren, right? These could be spirit babies from your nieces and from your, you know, anybody close to you that it might not physically be your child that you're being, that's being birthed. But if you're highly intuitive and you, you know, can sense it, it could be a grandbaby that's coming into this world. It could be a, a niece or a nephew that's coming into this world who's trying to communicate with you and the bond that you guys will have, who chills, is going to be unbreakable. So, I mean, some might not have... I get so emotional in these readings, guys. I'm sorry. But some of you may be old, older and not have babies. You know, some of you may... Um, go through situations where it's just not possible for you to have kids anymore but you know maybe you know i'm hearing that these are also going to be babies that are going to be in your life you know it might not be your child but they will be in your life you still will be able to feel their love get their love get their kisses get their hugs you know and you will create a strong bond with these babies okay it says rub mommy's back and she'll fall right to sleep co-sleeping with mama and papa mommy and papa daddy wants twins he's going to be a good daddy to us so that's the third confirmation saying that you know there are multiples here we had two we's and now we have daddy wants twins it says rub mommy's feet and show her love when we come so this is just like maybe advice to the dad or the papa that um when mommy's pregnant you know she's gonna want massages and she's gonna want rubs you know I keep hearing swollen so she might get swollen i know myself with my son i hope if i get pregnant again i don't go through that gosh that was a nightmare i held so much water in my body guys like i gained so much weight and it was just like water and like fluid weight when i gave birth to my son i dropped like 50 pounds in just that birth do you see like i could push like my arm and it would leave like a like a deep hole like everything was like swollen i had a very high risk pregnancy with my son thank god he came out healthy you know no complications i was fine but the pregnancy was rough okay i was supposed to be a little inside advice i was supposed to be put on bed rest at like seven and a half months the doctor told me like you, you should stop working you should go on bed rest you know um i was um i was like high risk for preeclampsia but in the situation that i was i knew i had to keep working because like for financial reasons you know i had to keep working and um i think that's why the longer i kept and i had a very laborious active job um we were okay but it took such a toll on my body like i'm only 5'1 my average weight is like 110 to 115 pounds and i just kept getting like more fluid like my body like it was rough it was rough you know but thank god he's okay i'm okay everything you know went okay it was a very um intense labor you know but um I just hope I don't go through that again. You know, I just hope I don't go through that again. Okay, Papa, I mean, Daddy slash Papa, Mommy likes when you walk her, oh, wake her up with love. Okay, and then new beginnings. So these are messages for the father. So if I have any masculine energies, any males watching, um, these are your spirit babies saying to rub Mommy's feet and show her love when we come. So I feel like this, you know, as women are pregnant, they're in such a vulnerable state. They're creating, you know, um, some get like so much energy, you know, some women are extremely tired, but we all go through such a change that our emotions are fluctuating so much. So um, these are your spirit baby saying, just like rub mommy's feet and show her love when we come, rub mommy's back and she'll fall right to sleep. So maybe some of you guys will have a hard time, like the moms will have a hard time falling asleep 
maybe um, you know it's just so much changes when you go through pregnancy and it's just it's a beautiful change you know if you're open to that change um, and it's also saying daddy papa mommy likes when you wake her up with love so these are just messages for the males if I have any males watching new beginnings are on the way so get ready guys because you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of newness coming in oh wow I'm a girl we will be with you soon get things ready okay so it says that if you guys wanted a girl i have been getting a lot of boy energy but i have been in this reading it's a lot of pink so i have been feeling girl in this one so i'm a girl that's like one coming in but then it also says for another confirmation wow we will be with you soon get things ready and then twins pop out so I know I have a lot of people that want boys, girls, twin girls, twin boys, some want both, you know, but in this reading, I'm picking up heavy female feminine girl energy. There has been now four confirmations of we, and now we just got um, twins coming out. So maybe this is one twin is a girl, take it how it resonates. Maybe both twins are a girl and both babies are a girl. Um, take it how it resonates okay I'm gonna pull a couple more and then we'll close on out okay I see something else that says okay we we are water babies so I can't make it up how much confirmation of multiples that I pull please if you guys find out that you guys are having multiples if you feel comfortable enough to come back and like even if you drop two even if you drop two hearts you know whatever it is just come back and um i know i have somebody that said that they are having twins already i know i um one of the comments and congratulations to everyone that's pregnant everyone that's expecting everyone that's about to give birth i don't know why there is just something inside of me that even when i see like a belly on a mother walking down the street there's just some kind of energy that i'm just like oh my gosh like that creation is so precious and perfect to me you know i don't know how to even put it in words i just think it's like you know if there's some people that are just like oh it's just a baby you know oh another baby oh you know to me it's like there is something so precious with that creation it takes my breath away it's like like i can't even really wrap my physical mind around it you know for spirituality i'm just like it's a gift from god you know but just you know there's so much detail that goes into creating a a life you know us feminine energy we're so magical we're you know this is it i could go on and on okay your animals will keep us safe don't worry we are twin boys we look just like daddy okay so this like i said i've been picking up on the boy energy for a long time and they have to make their way out so i know i probably have like a good five of you who watch these videos that will be having twin boys others will be having a boy and a girl others will just be having a girl um but there are twin boys that are wanting because i get it all the time almost in every spirit baby reading it's twin boys that will look just like daddy or twin boys making their way in okay and then you will soon be in the land of honey and milk so new beginnings are coming you guys are going to be entering into your promised land Daddy wants to get to know you, mom, okay? So maybe you guys are going to be just bonding closer with um, this partner that's coming in. Daddy, Papa needs to open up and talk to mommy, okay? So daddy wants to get to know you. And like we said, um, be willing to express your love. So I feel like this daddy, Papa masculine energy needs to open up and express their love. And if they're having a hard time, maybe instead of expressing your love, go to the feminine energy and ask for help you know ask for help in that matter i don't know take it how it resonates if it resonates with you maybe some of the masculine energy like everything that you know we've been through all the hardships and everything how do i reach out and tell them that i love them will they even take a love offer 
you know, maybe before you go with a um, love offer, just ask for help, you know, just ask for help. I, that's what I'm hearing, just ask for help. Um, so yeah, these also these I heard water babies and they want me to address it. So these babies are going to want to be in water guys. Okay, so just go ahead and um, take your baby some natural springs I'm hearing also um, fresh wa um, fresh water that is natural springs oceans um, even like showers you know your baby's just gonna want to be in water all the time even little play areas you know like as they get older to sit just sit them in like a little little pool or something just to be in the water and then I'm also noticing I pulled on the mermaid um, the mermaid oracle deck so that's also like water as well so these indigo babies, these indigo children, they're water babies and they're going to want to be, that's how they're going to feel happy and in their element. Okay. It says, be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of, the situ of this situation. It is safe to admit the truth to yourself for we are willing to support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they will come to you upon angel wings, okay? So yeah, I do feel like for some of this is um, the masculine energy, I don't know why. Take it how it resonates. It could be a female in masculine, but I do feel it's like in um, a masculine that, you know, needs to open up, express their love, ask for help, and then call on your angels, right? Um, and be willing to admit this truth to yourself. So some of you guys are maybe still in this area where you're not fully surrendering is what I'm hearing. You're not fully surrendering to what it is, to what the situation is. And um, yeah, just focus on your angels and ask them for guidance. You know, ask them, you know, I surrender everything over. Just show me the way, show me what I need to do. And um, they'll, be, they'll be there to help you. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Give it a big thumbs up. I am so grateful for all of you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.